Welcome to our lecture, how to stay in Canada after graduation. Work in Canada temporarily after you graduate. A very popular program in Canada is the postgraduate work permit. To work in Canada after you graduate, you must apply for a work permit. Not all programs offered at designated learning institutions are eligible, as we saw in previous lecture. And to learn more about the different type of credentials DLC grant, contact the Ministry of Education in your province or territory. So important notes about the postgraduate work permit. You need to make sure that the learning institution that you cho chose uh, is eligible, so you can be eligible for a postgraduate work permit. So it's important to do the due diligence before you arrive to Canada. And only for you, if you're planning to become a permanent resident in the future, you need to see that the educational institution or colleges or universities that offer you a placement are recognized to have the ability to qualify for you to obtain a postgraduate work permit in Canada once you finish your studies. The postgraduation work permit. If you are graduated from a designated learning institution and want to stay and work in Canada temporarily, you may be eligible to apply for a postgraduate work permit. This work experience can help you qualify for permanent residence in Canada. As far as you qualify to any other programs, okay? And we saw in previous lecture the page of the website as the Center Learning Institutions. The link is included in the lecture. Who can apply? It's important to understand that you need to make sure you are eligible to apply for a work permit after graduation. There's a page here, we'll visit in, later in the lecture. But to apply, if you want to work after completing your studies in Canada, you may be eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. You need to see the eligibility requirements for a post-graduate work permit in the website. And there are three steps to apply for the post-graduation work permit. Step number one, you need to get the application package. And I'm going to go to the website of the Government of Canada. I'm going to uh, look for that package, which the forms are required and the documents. There's some important notes that you need to keep in mind. You must apply for a work permit within 180 days of receiving a written confirmation that you have met the requirements of your academic program, such as a degree, diploma, transcript, or official letter from the institution where you were studying. And remember, the institution has to be a layer also for the postgraduate permit. If you have a valid off-campus work permit, these are usually issued for the same period of your study permit, for instance, a period of study plus 90 days, you can start the job while waiting for your work permit under the post-graduation work permit program. If you do not have an authorization to work off campus while waiting for your post-graduation work permit, you must wait until the permit arrives to begin your new job. It is illegal to work in Canada without a valid work permit. It is illegal to work in Canada. Now, if you apply at some point during the 180 days, you have an active a valid study permit and you apply for the work permit, you will be able to do it. Before, you need to require to have a permit, study permit valid before you apply for the open work permit. Now, if it was valid during those 180 days, in, in that period of time, you can apply directly to the open work permit, okay? When you apply for a post-graduation work permit, you do not have to get a labor market opinion from Service Canada, and that's one of the biggest advantages. That open work permit, because you don't need a, a LMIA, you can work for any Canadian employer, and you can even change Canadian employers if you need to. It gives you that freedom. So it's good to consider the post-graduation work permit as a choice. And also, it helps you to get, gain some experience in order for you to gain permanent residence later on, okay? The step two is pay your application fees. When applying, to the post-graduation work permit program, you must pay the open work permit holder fee and the standard work permit fee. There's two fees that you need to pay, okay? 
Both fees are payable in Canadian funds only. You must pay your fees online when prompted as you apply. And if you are not prompted to pay one of the fees, you must pay manually, just in case. Normally you can do it online, but if you are not prompted to pay one of the fees, you have to pay manually. And there's some instructions in the website. When you pay your fees online, you will prompt it to pay all your fees automatically during the application process. To pay your fees online, you must have a PDF reader on the computer, a printer, a valid email address, and a credit or debit card that CIC can accept. Okay? To pay online after you apply, if you are not asked to pay the open work permit holder fee during your application, you can still pay online by following the instructions on the website. You're going to have to select temporary resident for the list of free options. You're going to need to select the open work permit holder fee. You're going to follow the instructions to complete your payment. You're going to have to save a copy of your receipt to your computer. You're going to attach your receipt using the letter of explanation option in the document checklist of your online application. And you may need then to proceed with your application normally, okay? And for more detailed on instructions, you're gonna need, you can read the pay the fee section in the application guide. Every application guide have a pay the fee section. You just check it. You can get it online as a PDF just by visiting the website of the Government of Canada. And the last step will be to submit your application. The application key contain the mailing address where you must send your application. That's very easy. Let's take a look now at the website. Now we're on the website of the Designated Learning Institutions list. We saw this in the previous lecture. We can see here, we go straight to the part for post-graduation work permit. And it's just an emphasis, not all Designated Learning Institutions make you eligible for the post-graduate work permit. Again, when you plan to come to Canada, you need to make sure that the institution that you're choosing, you're applying to, is eligible for the post-graduation work permit program because if they're not, you won't be able to get a postgraduate work permit, okay? You need to meet also the, all, the, all the criteria to get the postgraduation work permit, and this is the link that you can go there. I will double check in a moment. Here is the step to determine if your institution is in the list of, of the program. You need to choose the province, you need to type the keywords of the, of the name of the school, you need to find the designated institution, and their number. So we did that in the previous lecture. So we're going to skip this and going back to the other information. When you see work in Canada after you graduate, this is the process. Basically, the post-graduation work permit, the fees is $255. Again, it's tell about the institution, how to check the institution. The processing time here is online. It takes 84 days to process on paper 116 days. So online will be always faster than on paper. But depending on the situation, you can use either of them, okay? Most recommended will be always online because it's faster. How long is a post-graduation work permit valid for? You're gonna depend on the length of the study program. So if your program that you came to Canada to study was less than eight months, then you are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit. If your program was more than a month and less than two years, your postgraduate work permit may be, may be valid by the same length of your study program, okay? So, if your program lasted one year, then the postgraduate will be one year. Is the, if it lasted two years, they're gonna issue that work, open work permit for two years. Now, if your year of a study were more than two years, you're gonna get a maximum of a three years open work permit. So if your study was two years and a half or three years, okay, as a student you were studying a program in Canada that lasted three years, you will get a three years open work permit, postgraduate open work permit. If it lasted two and a half years, still you're gonna get the maximum of three years postgraduate work permit. Okay? So that's you need to remember that. Who can apply? If we go to the link of who can apply. Again, mention about the 180 days after the school issue your final mark, you then can apply for the postgraduate work permit. You must also have completed your studies 
maintain your full-time status, you basically met, met all the requirements of the initial uh, study permit. You are ineligible for the postgraduate. If you already receive a postgraduate work permit, you cannot get a, a second one. You just study English or French as a second language, so it doesn't qualify. You just took general interest or self-improvement courses. You participate in the Government of Canada work program funded by the Global Affairs Canada. You have funding from GAC. You got the Eco Opportunity Scholarship Canada Chile. Again, these are the situations when, if you have any of these situations, you are ineligible for the postgraduate work permit. There are some special cases like accelerated programs, distance learning, leave from studies. Everything is detailed in this page. Mention also about the transfer between the schools and combination when you transfer from designated school that is not in the list. So you need to check this information before you make any decision, okay? Fly schools, certain schools in Quebec, etc. So it give you all the information that you need to know in order to apply for a open work permit of, as a postgraduate, okay? How to apply? Again, we just visit that. I'm gonna give you a little information about biometrics if you need. And why you should apply online, just to give you all the reasons why you should apply online. And again, based on your choice here, if you choose online, gonna give you the step to do it online. If you choose paper on paper, they're gonna give you the step to do it on paper. That's the advantage of this uh, page in the website. And after you apply, again, it gives you the online processing time, 84 days, paper, 116 days. If you need to apply for a TRB, Temporary Resident Visa, or ETA, depending if you are in a country that doesn't require a visa, then an ETA, it gives you the information here, from outside of Canada or from inside of Canada. And what you do is you need to travel outside of Canada, you have the information too. And in the case of the spouses or common law partners, if you get an approved application for the postgraduate work permit, your partner or spouse will be able, most of the cases, will be eligible to apply for an open work permit, like we saw in the previous lecture. So this is the end of the lecture. I hope you like it. And any questions, don't hesitate to send it to us. So thank you very much.